I'm Yost from DIYphotography.net and I'm here with Mitch Gross from ProLight and we're looking at Orion 675 at IBC 2022. DIY Photography's coverage of IBC 2022 is sponsored by Sennheiser, the future of audio. Sackler, producer of professional tripods. And B&H, the professional source. Mitch, thanks for having us here. At NAB this year, you introduced Orion. Tell us something about that. Yes, so Orion 675 FS is our new flagship light. And just five months ago, we introduced this light, which is a high-powered, full-color spectrum, full-color tunable spotlight. So that's an RGB ACL, red, green, blue, amber, cyan, lime. It has a cluster Cobb emitter set, and that allows us to have extreme adjustability in the colors as well as with whatever colors that we select a terrific spread of the spectrum so that we have very natural uh, complete colors uh, it, it, very uh, flattering and you don't have weird color spikes or dropouts and things like that we have a range of 1800 to 20,000 color temperature, Kelvin color temperature, and anywhere in that green magenta offset. But anywhere in that range, the colors are extremely accurate and we fulfill the spectrum very, very well. Now we introduced this as a prototype about five months ago, but since then, this is now just debuting today, the shipping version of the light. This is going to be delivering in the next few weeks and months, and this is what the actual light looks like. And we. We did that on purpose. We wanted to show a sort of a prototype light because we wanted to then get a lot of response back from DPs and gaffers and really know what they wanted to see in the light while we still had a chance to make adjustments. So we worked like crazy for the last five months and really redid the whole light. So the shell looks basically the same, but inside we completely redid things, all new electronics. The yoke is angled. Yeah. Uh, we That allows us not only to give a big tilt range, so if you are need to point down at something, if you have a big soft box or something on, yeah. gives you extra range. But what it also allows is that this is a quick release. And so you can you take can the whole the yoke, yoke, you can flip the light on the yeah. yoke, and now if you have a very heavy front accessory, you are better balanced on the stand so that you're not making the stand want to tip over, exactly, bend yeah. when you extend it, and things yeah. like that. So this is our Fresnel, yeah, and we, we said that, uh, we, we described what we were going to have, but we didn't, it was still in prototype, uh, very much in development before, so we didn't have anything to show uh, previously. This is the actual shipping version of the Fresnel. You can see even though it has a range of 15 to 50 degrees, it is quite compact, yeah. and so it, it doesn't weigh a lot, it doesn't take up a lot of space, some of these things can get quite large and rival the size of the light with some brands. But in addition to that, we this this is a fairly lightweight accessory, but some of the accessories, which I'll show you, can get quite large and quite heavy. Yeah. And so we changed the mount. Now, it is a Bowens, Len, Bowens mount, which is... Something special. A, the Bowens mount is very common for lots of different lights and accessories, and we wanted to stick to that because that way people could use the accessories they're used yeah. to. But I've always had problems with the Bowens mount. You would have things that would be very loose on there, and they it wouldn't be a precise mount. It would just kind of be a rough one. So we changed all that. It still takes Bowen's mount accessories, Yes. but this is a locking clamp. Yeah, it's a positive lock. Positive lock, so yeah. if you're used to, on cameras, having a positive lock type clamp, the BL right? A, yeah. The breech BL. mount, locking clamp, this as it, you rotate it, it clamps down, and it holds all the accessories. Not only is it super strong, but it also is very, very precise. So you don't have the wobble that other Bowens mount accessories can have on them. So this locking clamp, it's a first of its kind for Bowens mount. I've and never seen it, it before. It is really, really precise and nice. While I have this off, I think it's also important to show you, this is our, our Cobb, our uh, you know, chip on board design. Yeah, COD, yeah. It's only uh, 40 millimeters across. Now what that means, is that if, even if I take this light and I just swing it around with nothing on it at all, mm -hmm. as a nice even beam, yeah. it's an 80 degree spread, and when I wave my hand in front, you can see it's quite a sharp shadow, right? You get, a, because it's a very small emitter, 
that's you know area that that's coming from, yes. you get a very sharp precision shadow out of it. This is our menu system. You'll see there's a little plate here with some screws on it. We did that because we know that in a shooting rental situation or whatever it might be, things can happen. So this is just a little protective cover. Protect the LCD screen, you know. Some people don't be gentle, it's a rental, you never know what happens out there in the That's world. It's like, yeah. It's gonna be protecting it. But I can show you that we've completely redone our menu system for this light. It's a very graphic user interface. Very visual. It's, and it's designed to be completely intuitive. And I hear there's a firmware update coming as well. The, the, the light hasn't even released, and yet we're, you know, we are we are nothing if not perfectionists, and so we're constantly working to tweak and improve the light. So when it ships, it will have our latest firmware. But I literally have in my pocket yet another firmware just just to tweak a couple of things and make some adjustments. Of course, when the light ships, it will, which will just be in a few weeks, uh, that all, all that firmware is locked down. And then we have a little USB slot right there, as well as our app. And through our app wirelessly, you will be able to do firmware updates to yes. the light. So as we add functions or change features or whatever it might be that you know people might request from us to the capabilities that we can do it with the light, we're gonna look to adding things to the light. Yeah, and that's all from user feedback. It's from user feedback. It's sometimes when you uh, when we just discover, hey, you know, when working on something, we were we were able to make something happen. Well, well, we'll give it a shot. But yes, we listen to the users. Simple things like making this an all-in-one unit. There's no separate power supply. This is plugged into the wall. Yeah. So the ballast is built in. So this. It's all built in. That was based on user feedback of how they wanted to interact with this light. So then we went and we made this 10 meters long, because we were like, well, why not? How long can we make it without it being a, a line voltage problem? So let's make it as long as we can for the convenience of the clients, what Amazing. they would like to see out of it. Can you say anything about price and availability? Yes, yeah, so US pricing on this is $3,495. Now, that's for that. That's not with the Fresnel. The Fresnel is another $580. The, the light comes with two reflectors, a 30 degree dish and a 55 degree dish, and it comes with the power cable. For another 300 some dollars, you can get it with a case. We uh, are also working with Datolite to make, they're making custom specific accessories for this light and for the other Orion light. So I also have, this is a zoom lens, a zoom lens yes. from Dato, and this is specific for use with the Orion lights. It works both with the Orion 675 FS as well as the Orion 300 FS. And you can see, even though I don't have it mounted to the light, I can just lens and I can zoom. So you put this guy on here and now you have a zoom lens. That's amazing. Mitch, thank you so much. Absolutely. This is Joost at the Pro League stand for DIYphotography.net at IBC 2022. Make sure to follow uh, all of our show coverage uh, on our YouTube channels and Instagram and make sure to look at the $12,000 giveaway in the description below. Thank you and see you soon.